We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star linebacker Darius Hayes, who signed with Miami. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason, player by player. You need to know what your players look like before they hit the field. That's why we do this. That's why you need to hit the subscribe button because we're doing this every day. You need to learn about these players. But here's his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, you will get there. But he's a four-star prospect in both sets of rankings. In their rankings, they got him as the 22nd best linebacker. The composite has him at eight. We got to watch the highlights on him. We got to look at him tight because they might be wrong. Six foot four, two ten. A little light, bit lighter in the pants, but I don't mind it because we know we can grow. 21 offers. Miami, Florida, Alabama, Auburn. So we're in the good range category of the offers. 20 good, 30 great, 40 elite, 40 or more elite or whatever you want to call it. And then we got good programs looking at him. That's a good sign. That is a very good sign for Adarius Hayes. That is a very good sign. I look at that and I grade that better than the rankings, the four-star system. And you can say what you want, but we got a lot of offers here. We got good schools wanting them. Their jobs are more on the line. These guys will rank them. They'll move on about their day. Under Armour All-American game we played in that. They're saying he's a lanky second-level defender that can drop back into coverage and fill gaps. That's going to play well at the next level because not everybody can do that. Size hasn't been verified in a while, but looks to be over six foot three with additional length in the arms. We'll need to add some mass, rather slender. Granted, you can say that about every prospect. Not many prospects out there don't need to add mass that being said we're going to add mass that's part of the game that's just part of the game we're going from high school to college they're going to get you in the weight room that's going to happen we're going to carry more weight but we are very productive 120 tackles we got a nose for the football look at the intangibles here we're going to see that on the highlights face up tackler likes to strike so we're good in coverage we can tackle and to be able to tackle you got to be able to read we're going to see a good ball player here. We're going to see a guy who's under ranks. We're going to see that. Florida, Miami, big time prospect. Everybody wants him. That being said, Florida, Miami. We flipped from Florida to Miami. Jabroni players don't get that opportunity. Jabroni players don't. Notre Dame, Florida State, not just schools from the same area, schools from different parts of the country. That being said, on three, has him ranked 16th among linebackers. ESPN six, rivals three, we're all over the place. Six foot three and a half, 220. I think we're looking at a good ball player here. So let's take a look at the highlights. Let's see what he's got to work with. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There he is right there. He lanky? He's lanky? I think I got it mixed up. I think it's starting off some senior tape and a little junior tape. I don't think he's lanky. I think he can add some mass. I think he's lanky maybe for the position if you're scouting really hard. If you want him perfect right now. I think for the high school level. And if you're not looking at players half glass full like I do, then you would say that. I see some thickness. I'm kind of excited about that. I like room for growth because on top of what I'm seeing, I know an easy way where he's going to get better. We got speed here. We got burst. Nose for the football. We got a tackler. I think that's why a lot of people like me because I'll, I'll fight with the recruiting sites and I'm also objective, open-minded. I'm not trying to predict. I'm just saying, hey, this is where we're at. This is what could happen. This is where his upside is. If he keeps improving, this is what you could get. And what I'm seeing here is a guy that can read. A guy that can read well, read, react, get to the football. He's he's productive, had 120 tackles as a junior. Moving sideline to sideline, not getting sucked in. He's got some speed. He, he can move well for size. He can hit. He's giving you a little bit of everything. 
Definitely see why college football really wanted him. I like the length on him. We're seeing him work well in coverage. I want to see more of a sample of that. I do, but I think the upside's immense. I think the upside's really huge. Playing downhill. I think upside's NFL upside. I think Sunday upside. I think a lot of these four stars got Sunday upside. But odds, ability to hit that, that's a hard one. But if you can just look at his upside, see that, that's it. That's what I like. Let's just hope things go well. It is what it is. I think he's underranked. I think why, I don't know. He's using coverage. Look at that block. He, he moves well. Good speed for the position. The speed works for the position. That's probably the best way to say it. There are a couple linebackers who are freaks. I'm not comparing them to those, but comparing them to your average linebacker in the class who's ranked in his range. He, he's got damn good athleticism. That's why he should be ranked higher. He, oh my goodness. He should not be ranked this low. He's got good pop. He's got He's good between the ears. Gets low. Gets low. The best thing about him, he's versatile. Like, look at him in coverage. He's already got it red. He's there. Trying to get blocks downfield, and it can't happen because he's so quick to read it. He's very good between the ears. Look how quick he saw that. Very good at reading and reacting. Sees things quick, gets to it. Gets low. They probably saw 1v1 or something in a practice. An all-star game or something. And something did not go too well for him. And it might have been a blip on the radar for him. But you just look at the full scale of what he can do. The traits and stuff. I like... If I could say one trait, like, hey, you can only say one trait about this player when you're scouting him, and that's it. That's what we got to go off of. What he's got between the ears. In coverage, reading reading the ball care, reading what's going on in the backfield. What's going on between the ears is what I like most about him. He's got a fast mental processor. Can really read plays quick. That's what I like about him. That's allowing him to be good in coverage. He's got other skill sets, but that's allowing him to get get quickly down the line, quickly to the play. Now he's blessed with some speed, some quickness. He's very quick. He's got a lot of pop off the step. The quickness is the money on him athletically. The length and size, I like that too. I think his frame is great because you know he can easily pack on mass and should. And if he doesn't, there's where the red flag you'll see, Miami fans. If He's a sophomore, and he's not much bigger. Then I'll be worried. Then I'll be like, okay, we know you now. Because he's got a ton of upside. His upside's NFL level. His upside is a big-time player at the NFL level. That, that That's his upside. His read and react ability, his ability to diagnose and get to the ball carrier is, is up there. And it speaks with the 120 tackles. It speaks to him... Being able to play well in coverage. He's not getting sucked in. He's reading the line well. He's moving down the line well. He's holding contain good. He's a good player. We got a lot of upside here. He's a very good player. Reading the backer there. The running back. He's the backer. But he's a player that's that should not have got killed in the rankings. Moving down the sideline good. Miami's going to like him. He's just got to put into work and keep working. That's it. That's it. He just has to keep doing it. He's low. He fires out. He's got pop. He just has to keep doing what he's doing. He's going to have to just keep getting better because he's already good. He's already good. He's a good prospect. He's got a lot of upside. I like how fluid he moves. He's got a lot of pop in the step. Smart between the ears. I think if you try to find what his coaches say about him, that's what you're going to hear first from them. He's smart between the ears. That's why he's so good in coverage. And that's why he's so quick and so productive when it comes up to tackles. Because he's there quick. He diagnoses the play quick. He gets there. He reacts. 
He's able to get low quick because he's a taller player. He's low at the point of contact. All that stuff is allowing him to do the right thing. And it all starts here. And then he's gifted physically. He's able to put it all together. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.